You're listening to the Stoic Solutions Podcast, practical wisdom for everyday life. I'm your host, Justin Vakula, with episode 75, Calculated Risks. Visit my website at stoicsolutionspodcast.com, where you can email me, connect with me on social media, find past episodes, and join my Discord chat server for interactive discussion. Support my work through Patreon, PayPal, and referral links by visiting the Donate tab on my website. Stoic authors draw a great deal of attention to how we spend our time and how we prioritize, highlighting the fact that our lives are limited and time seems to pass swiftly. Each day, we have countless opportunities to pursue many goals, and in doing so, we take risks. Risks are inherent to life. There's a fragile nature to things, fickleness of fortune, decay, and constant change about us. Is there an area really free of risk? We ought to be prudent carefully select that which we pursue, and sometimes even take the high road and not fight certain battles, as I mentioned in episode 72 of this podcast. We will deem certain areas of life not worth the effort, because we've determined little value to be found. How will we benefit? How will others benefit? Is the action a virtuous one? Today, for instance, I can choose to adopt a child, a pet, or use all of my wealth to purchase a restaurant but these paths do not seem to be wise courses of action at the moment, for it's a great amount of time, responsibility, and effort, which I do not want to expend in this season of life. Some might say, oh, you're afraid to take a risk, but I've determined that a particular course of action was not prudent. Quite a difference in thought between me, one aspiring to live a lifestyle informed by stoicism, and another who considers my motivations or decisions to be based on fear when this is not the case. The person charging me with risk aversion has a judgment considering me to be afraid, rather than trying to first ask why I decide. Well, it's based on reason, not a negative emotion, such as fear. I've thought ahead, spent some time thinking about the direction I want my life to go, and have eliminated many options which aren't good fits for me. It's not the case that, for example, I'm afraid to open a business at the moment, but instead I don't see enough compelling positive reasons to go down this path. I'm also not afraid to marry someone and have a child, but rather don't see marriage as a prudent course of action and want to be extremely responsible with reproduction. Now is absolutely not the time. Surely the person charging me with fear would not like a similar charge if I told them they were afraid to go bungee jumping, fight a trained mixed martial artist, or loan me a large sum of money. I'll be more charitable, anyway, have some more respect for them, and not assume their motivations are based on fear but rather on some deliberation. I'll take risks in other areas of life and have done so when the decision seemed to be well informed, moving to new areas to pursue new opportunities, changing jobs, playing poker following a large amount of study and practice, investing money, challenging popular ideas, and engaging in public activism for causes I support. My life is surely not one of hiding under the covers in leisure. I seek not to prove myself to others, even to listeners of this podcast, but it's a point to be made. I'll take certain risks, but not make foolish decisions. I'll work to calculate whether something happens to be in my favor, or for the benefit of others. I'll work to think steps ahead. The Stoic aspirant heeds a call to be engaged in society, have courage to make unpopular decisions in line with virtuous character, and speak truth even when there might be a degree of personal risk. We may contend with lives of limited social engagement in some instances, when we scorn things like popular approval, the habits of crowds, and others' values dramatically at odds with Stoicism, we're to, as Seneca says, be our own spectators and seek our own applause, rather than conforming when our virtuous character would be diminished. We care not of gaining approval from those of ill repute. Why bother to please those who are not worth pleasing? Some may seek to heap shame upon us and assume motivations rather than engaging in a more fruitful dialogue. As an aspiring Stoic, I want to maintain contentment in my life and live according to proper reason, rather than, at another extreme, making impulsive decisions, giving too much of myself tremendously compromising my self-interest. In engagement with others, I reflect upon Seneca's thoughts on friendship, to see social relationships being of mutual benefit and careful engagement a two-way street. I'm not a hermit cut off from society, shunning all of the world and others by any means. I'm not going to have a foolhardy or naive hope thinking things will just work out, guided by an improbable fantasy about how I would like life to be. I'm well aware that, no matter my effort, situations won't always pan out as I would like them to. 
Stoic authors, after all, advise us to recognize what is outside our control and to lower our expectations. A married life might be grand, for instance, many think, but I'd rather not become entangled with a governmental contract and a threat of financial and emotional ruin lurking, should things, for whatever reason, not work out. How many, for instance, have thought they found the right one and made serious commitments only to be divorced weeks, months, or years later, and or living a life filled with misery, overly placing their contentment in the hands of another? Moderation, podcast listeners, is what Stoics call for. I'll have really good friendships, hobbies, and goals aside from marriage and having children, experiencing a happy life according to my desires, shunning a popular path others aspire to. Maybe you'll deem marriage to be a prudent path, but I'd rather not risk so much with high rates of divorce, the reality of no-fault divorce, infidelity, tons of competition through hookup culture and social media, temptation others experience, and a growing degree of degeneracy in modern culture. Some may think of an easy life, perhaps putting forth minimum effort to maintain a standard of living, perhaps being complacent and having low initiative at work, maintaining social relationships which provide little benefit that are just familiar, and even failing to taste new foods, content with the usual. I don't want to live a usual life. I'm not happy with easy paths. I want to experiment and experience. I want to find meaning in my day-to-day living, rather than grinding away with the same old, same old. Perhaps it's uncomfortable, or yes, risky to change, but in maintaining that usual situation, you are missing out on growing and learning. One can embrace a moderate level of risk tolerance, making careful decisions, those not too aggressive or too passive. Speak up and ask that question addressing the elephant in the room. Challenge, in good intention, what someone else says in order to gain more understanding and perhaps allow another to reconsider their way of thinking. Volunteer for a work-related opportunity no one else has done. Work to change the system when you see flaws. Try a new approach. Travel somewhere and have a new experience. Start to reduce bad habits, which may be comfortable in the short term, but harmful in the long run. Scorn pleasures, which don't present much value. Ask why. Listen to new music. Learn a new hobby. Set a plan for accomplishing a new goal. Question your priorities. Ask a good friend what you could change about yourself to be a better person. Take some calculated risks for the benefit of you and others. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more content. Visit my website at stoicsolutionspodcast.com where you can email me, connect with me on social media, find past episodes, and join my Discord chat server for interactive discussion. Support my work through Patreon, PayPal, and referral links by visiting the Donate tab on my website. Podcast music, used with permission, is brought to you by Phil Giordana's symphonic metal group Fairyland from their album Score to a New Beginning. John Bartman offered free consultation and audio edits for episodes 51 through 63. Thanks to generous patrons and fans of this podcast who help support my work. Have a great day.